Okay. Hello. Hi, Namaste, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Aisha. Welcome. So this is my first time doing this actually and I'm very new to Instagram and I'm looking at the phone but I'm believing you're on the other side and thank you for joining. Hello everybody. I may not know who is Matt Girl but thank you for attending everybody. Thank you so much. Hello. I know Kanol. I know Ziho and Susan. Thank you. Okay, hope everybody's doing really, really, really well in this time and keeping very happy. That is very important. We will start the class soon, which is Immunity Booster class. Now, in this Immunity Booster class, we're going to tackle on several things in the body. Okay, hello everybody. Hello from Hong Kong. Long time no see. Now, several things that you need to know in this class is although it's an immunity booster class, it's a gentle class, we will be going to need to move the body. And in, order, and in moving the body, you're helping to move the systems from your body. So you're purging out toxins from your body. You're improving circulation. You're purging out stale air or stagnation in your body. And there are key things that you need to pay attention to. So do pay attention, all right? There are lymph nodes that we're gonna be tackling in this class which is your armpit lymph nodes and the groin lymph nodes. I'll be saying more in the class. The thymus gland in the center of your chest, the thyroid gland at your throat center. The thymus gland, as we know it, it is for immunity. And the thyroid gland is for the metabolic rate and the energy level in your body. So if you're weak, you're susceptible to falling sick. We don't want that to happen. And the mustard gland, you will be needing to draw two lines. When I say draw two lines, I'll explain to you now so I don't have to explain again later. So the first line you will draw is from this top of one ear, draw it to the other top of the ear. And the second line is from the center of your forehead, you draw it back. And those two meeting lines, that is where your mustard glands lie, the pituitary gland. And mustard gland, as we all know it, is responsible for all other glands in your body. So we need to activate that. We're also gonna be affecting the digestive system because strong gut gives you strong body. Healthy gut gives you healthy body. So we're gonna be tackling it, we'll be tackling it through Agni Sara and all the twisting position. They're very gentle still. Although it's gentle, you can take it a little bit harder if you want or take it as easy as you want. Now the props that you'll be needing are two blocks. And if you don't have two blocks, feel free to use thick blankets and then make it in such a height that you can support your back because we're gonna do a viparita karini, which is a variation of a shoulder stand. And we also need to support for the fish pose and poses like downward facing dog and things like that. So if you have a thick blanket or thick books, okay, you can use dictionaries or if you want spiritual, attainment spiritual books they're quite thick <laughs> or if you want to increase knowledge dictionary or resourcefulness yellow pages which i don't think we own that anymore now an important thing is to keep light and happy in this time okay because lightness and happiness affects your thymus gland it is said that a child a normal healthy child has a thymus gland of 25 grams and a very healthy gut child can have 100 grams weight of thymus gland but there was this one boy who was unfortunately very badly abused and his thymus gland only weighs 10 grams, which is really, really sad. So keep yourself very happy, not just healthy, because happiness really boosts your system. And don't think that this immunity class is the only class that you need to do to keep yourself immune from all other diseases. No, you need to be vigilant and smart. So if you cough or sneeze, cover your mouth with a towel or anything, or don't inhale when someone coughs or sneeze. So be vigilant, be smart, and be happy most importantly. Okay, we're gonna start the class. Let's begin. You have a towel if you want to, or a block. You need to sit slightly comfortable, uh, slightly lifted up in your head so that you're comfortable in position. And you will sit whichever you want, simple cross-legged, simplified sedasan, which I like, left heel to the perineum, right leg up to the front. So what we're going to do is a simple breathing that will affect your thymus, thyroid, and then not lymph glands in your armpit region. So let's do this together for the first one slow, hands to the front. 
Now as you inhale, you bring your arms to the side, arching, spread your fingers wide, look up high. And as you exhale, you're going to round your spine, chin to the chest, cross at your palms, facing like that. You will still need to alternate them as you cross your palms. Keep your arms straight. As you inhale, reach your arms up, look up at your palms. And as you exhale, you release your arms all the way back to the front. Same thing with flow. Inhale to the side, arching. Exhale, you round your spine, crisscross in your palms, reversing them. Inhale, arching, you look all the way up high. And as you exhale, you turn your arms all the way to the front. Let's go like this. Inhale, arching, you can close your eyes if you know the movements. Exhale, you round your spine. Inhale, arching, lift tall. And exhale, release all the way to the front of you. Inhale, arching. Pay attention to your thigh miss, your thigh right. Exhale, you round. Chin to the chest, thyroid. Inhale, arching. Notice your armpits here. And exhale, release. Your chi follows your yi. When you pay attention, the energy will flow there. Again, inhale. And exhale, crisscrossing your palms. Inhale, arching. Look up high. And exhale, return your palms to the front of your chest. Moving fluidly. Inhale, arching. Look up. Spread your fingers. Exhale, you round your spine. Inhale, arching, look up high. And exhale, you return your palms to the front. Four more, inhaling. And exhale. Arching, inhale. And exhale, you release. Inhale, side, look up. Exhale, crisscross your palms, chin to the chest. Inhale, arching, look up. And exhale, release two more times. Inhale, arch at tension, thigh is thyroid. Exhale, thyroid, especially here. Inhale, up, lift notes in your armpits. Exhale, you release. One more time. Inhale, arching. And exhale. Lift your arms, look up high. Exhale, release your arms all the way to the front of you. And then you release your arms onto your knees and you close your eyes. With your eyes closed, just pay attention to the parts that we've touched upon. Your thyroid and your throat, thymus, center of the chest, lymph nodes in the armpit region. Take note of those. Take one more breath. And as you exhale, begin to slowly open your eyes, very gently. You should feel very light and free in those areas, especially. Next, we're going to come onto the knees. It's like a variation of a camel pose. So if you are sensitive in your knees, please face a folded towel under your knees. Now, we're going to affect the armpits and the groin lymph nodes. So what you want to do is you're going to place your palms in the opposite armpits like this. And your thumbs, meet them closer together to the center of your chest. So we will be affecting your thymus and your thyroid as well. Watch all together as you inhale, watch first, inhale, lift up, elbows high, so you affect your armpits, your groin, your chest, and your throat. And as you exhale, you bring your elbows close towards your hips, you're going to massage the center of your chest with your two thumbs. And you round your spine, you chin to the chest, your butt tucks sit back onto your heels. All together, palms into your opposite armpit, center of your thumbs, chest there. Inhale, lift up, lift up high. And exhale, you come down, elbows to the hip center. Repeat, inhale, arching, look high. And exhale, massaging your thigh muscles with your thumbs. Inhale, open up your armpits. Exhale. Lift up, push your hips forward. And exhale. Five more, inhale. Your throat center affected as you look up and as you look down here too. Four more. Exhale, you want to round your spine like that. Continue three more. I'll show you a side view. Hips forward. And exhale, chin to the chest, elbows to the hips. Two more times. And exhale. Once more, inhale up high. And exhale down. 
Keep your buttocks and your heels, just lift your elbows up as you inhale. Looking forward, release your palms onto your thighs as you exhale. Palms facing upwards. Keep your eyes closed, take a few breathers there. And pay attention to the parts that you have affected, your thyroid, your thymus, and the nodes at your armpits and groin. One breath here, inhale. And as you exhale, slowly you open your eyes. Very gentle. Okay, I hope you're feeling really well there. We're going to do camel position. Now remember, in this pose, the attention is not to want to improve your flexibility or strength, but to improve circulations in parts of the body that we want to tackle, thus increasing your immunity. So the camel position, I'll show you side view, have your toes tucked under. Hands to the back, squeeze the shoulders, elbows back, now important is you lift your chest up so you expand the full capacity of your lungs. So when you inhale, you lift your chest up. As you exhale, lift your chest even higher. So feel free to have your hands behind you and your chin up. Or if you can, hold onto the heels, do so, but do not collapse back because you want to affect the groin region of the nodes there. Okay? So hands to your heels or hands to the back but, or to the back. Or, but important is to pay attention to lift your chest high. Remember, we're gonna stay here for some breath, so make sure you're comfortable. So get into your position, shoulders, elbows back, or hands on your heels. Lift your chest up, we breathe here. As you exhale, do lift your chest even higher. Keep breathing like this, pay attention to the full capacity of your lungs as you inhale. As you exhale, lift your chest, hips forward, so affecting the groin lymph nodes. Again, few breath, inhale. And exhale fully, maintaining your breath. As you lift your chin up, you're going to be affecting your thyroid glands too. Deep breathing in your chest region. And exhale longer. Keep on maintaining your breath for five more rounds. Camel position is good for those with any lungs problem, like asthmatic or bronchial problems. So one more during this time. Keep breathing. Pay attention to your lungs. Two more breaths. Lift your chest even higher as you exhale. A one more breath like this. Lift your chest even more. We're going to hold the breath on the last one. So all together, inhale deeply. Full maximum capacity of your lungs. Hold your breath there to your comfort on my count of five, four, three, two, one. Stay to exhale longer. Maintain like that, inhale. As you exhale, hands onto your hips if they were on your heels, and then you bring your knees in together, sit your buttocks down, hands onto your thighs, close your eyes. Take a few breathers to take note of the after effect of what you've done. Inhale there, as you next exhale, you open your eyes. You may notice lightness, you may notice freeing and opening sensation in your lungs, your thymus, your thyroid, even the groin area where your lymph nodes are. Now we will be doing the rabbit position next. So you have a choice, the simplest version of a rabbit, you can place your palms there in front of your knees. And then you have your head down, forehead as close as you can towards your knees, and then you lift your buttocks up, so you roll towards the back of the head like that. But if you can, hold onto the heels, do so. So lift your chin, chest, inhale. As you exhale, chin to the chest, round your spine. Then you bring your forehead to the knees, so the crown of the head is onto the floor, then you lift your buttocks up and you stay. So stay in the rabbit position, breathing. Here we are affecting the master gland in the center of the brain, the pituitary gland. If you want to, draw the two lines and pay attention to your master gland as you breathe, closing your eyes. Pay attention as well to your thyroid gland because your chin is very close towards your throat and the chest. Pay attention as well to the back of your lungs because you are reaching your breath to the back of your lungs, which is most often neglected. So reach your breath there. Let's take four long breaths. With each exhalation, lift your buttocks higher so you put more pressure in the center of the brain. Take two more breaths. And as you next exhale, release yourself into child. Just rest your forehead down. And you relax your elbows into the ground. Few breathers here. You want to notice the after effect.
Next inhalation, you reach your arms forward and you come onto your force. I'm going to be facing front, so you can skew to the side or facing forward. We're going to work on the lymph nodes of the groin, the armpit, the thymus gland, and as well as your digestive system. So onto your force, you're going to pay attention to your left leg and pull your left toes up to the back of the groin. So what you will do is as you inhale, you lift your left knee up as high as you can. But again, in the chi follows the yi, so your attention and intention here is not your butt toes, not your lower back, nor your thighs, but it is to your groin lymph nodes. So pay attention to your left groin lymph nodes there. So your left inhale, lift up as high as you can. Attention to your nodes on your left groin. Exhale, you release. Repeat, inhale as high as you can. Exhale, release. Once you know what to do, you can face the ground. Inhale, lift up. And exhale. Two more. Exhale, affecting the lymph nodes in the groin of your left. One more inhale. And exhale. Same leg, inhale, lift up. Extend it out to the side. Having your ankle and your hip joint in alignment. Then you can place your right palm, right wrist in alignment with your right shoulder joint. With your left thumb, place it under your left armpit and the other four fingers to the center of the chest. So when you bring your left elbow up and down, especially on the downward motion, massage your thymus gland with your four fingers. So all together, inhale, elbow up, look up. Exhale, bring it under, look over your right shoulder. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, massage your center of the chest. Inhale. And exhale. Three more. Exhale, notice your thymus. Two, notice your armpit and your groin, especially on the under. One more, inhale. And exhale. Now bring your left arm up, inhale. As you exhale, there are three options here. Left palm down, right arm up, over the head, reaching towards the camera. Easiest version. But if you can, go down lower, either your forearm and then your other hand over the head, or go all the way down, your shoulders down, and reach your right arm over the head. So you want to walk your hands to the back of the head. Keep breathing here, so notice that you're affecting your right armpit lymph node, right side of your lungs, left side of the groin still happening, and your digestive system. Let's observe two more breaths. Take one more breath, inhale deeply, and fully you exhale. Attention to your right palm, place it to the front of your chest. As you exhale, push through to return both palms into the floor, and your left knee return in. Stay here for one breath and pay attention to how your groins feel, difference, the armpits, the thymus. Okay, now your right toes point to the back of you, doing the same. You can face ground so you don't crank your neck. Your right knee, inhale, you lift it up to the side as high as you can remember. And exhale down with control. Inhale. And exhale. Breathing is very smooth. Last three. And exhale. Two more. High as you can. Exhale. Make sure both your arms stay straight. One more. Inhale high. And exhale down. Now return your leg up. Inhale. Extend your leg out as you exhale. Checking your ankle, hips is aligned. And then you place your left hand right under your left shoulder so that shoulder and your wrist joints aligned. The same thing, your right thumb under the armpit, right four fingers to the center of your chest to massage your thymus as your elbow go up and down. Now all together, inhale, elbow up high. Exhale, bring it under. Continue, inhale. And exhale. Inhalation, lift up, look up. Exhale, look over your left shoulder. Three more. Massage your thymus, don't forget that. Two more, and attention to those areas. Exhale, because your chi follows your yi. One more, inhale, I hope I pronounced that correctly. And exhale. Reach your right arm, inhale up. You know your option. Number one, palm onto the floor, left arm over to the camera or elbow down or your shoulder. I'm choosing shoulder because I can. So you choose what you can. So stretch your left arm over the head, bring it more to the back of you. Stay here, smooth breathing. So where are your intentions here? Your left groin armpit, your right groin lymph nodes, 
your internal organs stay that way before the massage your thigh mess. Deep breathe in two times. Pay attention to those areas. One more time. Inhale deeply and exhale fully, twisting even more if you can. Now your left hand, place it to the front of the chest, push through, palms down, knees together, inhale here, come into child as you exhale. Relax your forehead, relax your arms, and close your eyes. Just notice the after effect of what you have done. Completely surrender and release. Stress level, anxieties, and worries play a very important part in your immunity. So learn to relax and remember to live life light. Always joyful. One breath there. Inhale, reach arms forward. Come up to your force as you exhale. We're going to do downward facing dog that's supported, so tuck your toes under. You have blocks or books or blankets, so place it under where it's going to be. For some, maybe two blocks or higher like that. For some, just one block high or low setting. You know your body best. But if you don't have any blocks or blankets not ready, it's okay. Just allow it to hang, but then it's not quite supported, but it's still fine. Okay? Inhale here. Tuck your toes as you exhale. Downward facing dog. And you stay. So your head should be resting onto the block nicely. supported. Once you're there, close your eyes. Again, the intention here is not to stretch in your legs or strengthen in your arms, but you want to lengthen your spine to release it. You want to relax in your digestive system. You want to free in your thymus, thyroid area. And also notice your putting pressure in your mustard gland. Those are your awareness attention to. And your armpits, your lip nodes, being stretched. Take one more breath here. Surrender more into the prop as you exhale. Next, you inhale, lift your head up. Move the prop away. And then from there, you bend your knees, walk your feet to the palms, one and two. Feet hip width apart, bend your knees. Now you have a choice. You can release into the forward fall with the abdomen flat onto your thighs. Remember, the intention here is not to get full stretch in your legs, but to improve circulations and to put pressure in the crown center, the master gland area. So a few feet can hold onto the opposite biceps like that. Personally, I like to rest my palms facing upwards like this. So you choose what well, makes you feel really, really nice and released. If your hands are not touching the floor, you can use the props. Rest on them. Close your eyes, take a few breathers. Take one more breath. As you exhale, if your arms were folded, release them alongside. Keep your knees bent very smoothly, vertebrae by vertebrae. Inhale as you roll to come all the way up. Vertebrae by vertebrae, all the way. And finally, your shoulders back and down and you face forward. Close your eyes there. Few breaths. Take one more breath. As you exhale, slowly you open your eyes. We're going to do sun salutation two sets. You have a choice. You can keep your feet hip width apart as well as your palms when you reach them over the head, palm shoulder width apart, or keep them together. Or two sets we're going to do. So the first set may be apart, second set together. The choice is yours. But the chi follows the yi. Remember that? What we want to do is you can start with feet hip width apart, palms center the chest. As you inhale, reach your arms up and you will arch gently. But as you arch gently, staying there, breathing, and pay attention to the parts which you want to direct tension and energy to, which is your thyroid, your thymus, your armpit, and your groin for the lip nose. Inhale here, push hips forward, chest up, exhale, bend at your knees, reach your hands onto the floor, either in front or beside, fingers or palms. Bring your right knee back, inhale, rest it onto the floor. Exhale into supported plank, so release your palms down. Stay to inhale. Exhale, come down, chest, chin onto the ground. 
Stay like this for one breath. Notice how much you're putting pressure in your thymus, your thyroid. From here, coming to baby cobra, point your toes back, like forward and up. Start small. In cobra position, it is going to be tackling your thymus, thyroid shirt. So as you stay here, notice your abdomen against the floor as you breathe, massaging your digestive system. Inhale here. As you exhale, coming to downward facing dog, tuck your toes, lift your hips up high. Stay here for one breath, inhale. And exhale, full in. Right foot forward between your palms, inhale. Resting your bed knee down. Both feet to the front, through the hip width apart, head down, bend your knees. Come up, inhale, reach up high, look up high. And then as you exhale. Now for those who can, for the next variation, we can lift the arms up in a crescent lunge. Again, inhale, arms up. And exhale, bend your knees, reach for the floor. Left knee back, bring your arms over the head here to your back is arching. Exhale, supported plank, knees down. Stay to inhale. Exhale, chest chin down. Cobra, go high if you're ready. Downward facing dog, exhale all the way back. Left foot forward between your palms, inhale, rest your back knee down, arms over, look up. Exhale, forward fold, feet hip width apart, knees bend, head down. Come up, inhale, arching, look up high. Namaste, you exhale. The second set, you can keep your feet hip, feet together, palms together. Inhale, arching, push hips forward. Exhale, forward fold, bend at your knees, reach for the floor. Right knee back, inhale, arching, look up high. Exhale, supported plank. Now we're going to be holding the breath here internally, so stay to inhale. Hold your breath to your comfort on my count of eight. Holding up your breath strengthens your lungs, cleanses your blood. Exhale, release fully, all the way down. Cobra, inhale, attention to your thymus thyroid. Downward facing dog, you exhale all the way back. Right foot forward, crescent moon lunging, look up, we'll stay here. Now as you exhale, look straight ahead, lift your hips up, we're gonna to twist to your right side. You have a choice, if your best is just your forearms, stay here. If you can rest your elbows close towards your thighs, stay here. But if you can bring it all the way out, side of your leg, go ahead, look up. Now you have a choice, hips stay up or hips down. Now you want to look over your right shoulder. We stay here for deep breath. Pay attention to your abdomen against your thighs as you inhale. And you want to make your abdomen half the size as you exhale. Three times inhaling. As you exhale, pull the abdomen closer to the spine. Two more times. One more breath, inhale deeply. And fully you exhale. Maintain your legs, bring your torso back up center, inhale. Sit down as you exhale, look up high. Inhale here, exhale, release your hands, feet forward, hip width apart or together, choice is yours. Come up, inhale, push hips forward, arching. Namaste. For one more to the other side, inhale, arching. Exhale, forward, forward, bend your knees. Left leg back, inhale, crescent and lunge, look up. Exhale, plank supported, we're gonna hold the breath there. Stay inhaling. Hold your breath for 10 pounds now if you can. Now as you hold your breath, create the pressure in your lungs. Pull the navel into your spine. And as you exhale, release down knees, chest, chin. And inhale, lift up. Downward facing dog, you exhale. Left foot forward, inhale. Crescent and moon lunging, look up high. Stay like this, look forward, lift your hips up. Twist to the left side now, forearm, elbow, or fully outside of your thigh, your armpit. Sink your hips down if you feel it's comfortable to do so. And you wanna twist fully. So the idea here is to have your breathing pressurized. This is what you want, so you massage your internal organs. 
So pay attention to your abdomen region. Let's take four long breaths. And as you exhale, make your abdomen have the sides. Three long breaths. As you exhale, you make your belly half the size. You can twist deeper, do so. Two more. Because you're creating pressure, the breath has got to go somewhere. You're also working on your lungs. One more breath like that, inhale. Twisting further as you exhale. Maintain your legs, bring your torso, arms back up. Inhale, arching, lunging as best as you can. Hands down, inhale here. Feet forward, exhale, apart it together, knees bend. Come up, inhale, reach up high, look up. And namaste as you exhale. Relax your arms, relax your shoulders. Take two breaths. And as you exhale slowly, you open your eyes and you can bring your legs wide apart. Half your legs apart, bend your knees, hands on your thighs, reach for the floor, and then you straighten your legs. We're going to twist towards your left side. Point your left toes out, bend your left knee, right hand onto the floor, reach and you twist. But you want to point the left arm towards the camera, so reach out far. So then you're working in your armpits. You're going to be working on your right groin. You're affecting your digestive system. Take one more breath here. Twisting more as you exhale. Left arm inhale up, left palm down, exhale. Return your toes both facing forward. We're going to point your right toes out now, bend at your right knee, left hand right under your shoulders. Lift your right arm up, inhale, and then you point it towards the camera region. Keep breathing here. So if you can, you sink hips down lower, so you will be affecting more in your left groin area, your left lymph nodes. Take one more breath there. Reach your arm up, inhale. Exhale, return your hand down, straighten your legs. Now here we're going to do a very supported white legged forward fold. Feel free to use your blanket, props, or books. I hope you grabbed your good book because it's closest to your head now. <laughs> Look up, inhale. Exhale, bend your elbows. However low your body allows you to go. The idea here is not to pull. The idea here is to surrender. Now with your arms, you can relax it to the back of the room. Palms facing upwards, elbows bent. And you stay here, take a few breaths. If you're not touching or come close to the floor nicely, feel free to bend your knees. Because the whole idea is to relax your spine and to improve circulations or to also activate your master gland. Take one more breath. Release your palms under your shoulders, straighten your arms, inhale. And as you exhale, remove the props your hands to the front of your mat, your feet to the back, downward dog first, inhale, and then come into child as you exhale. Couple of breathers here. Completely let go for one more breath. And as you next inhale, you sit up. And then you release your legs forward. We're going to be lying down on the back now. And make sure you have your props handy because we're going to use it for supportive. Rita Rita Karimi. So lie down onto your back. But before that, we have a series of movements. Once you lay down on your back, make sure your spine is straight. And you're going to raise both your legs and both your arms up to the sky like this. Now we're going to work alternate one time left legs. It's going to work on your coordination and your alertness. So from here, right arm, left leg, inhale, you extend the opposite direction of the room. And the intention here is your right armpit, left groin, leg nose. Inhale, exhale, you return. Left arm, right leg, inhale, we're gonna flow soon. And exhale, you return. Let's do this together. I can see if you're cheating. Right arm, left leg, inhale. Exhale, release. Left arm, right leg, inhale. And exhale. Right arm left, inhaling. 
Exhale. Left turn right. Exhale. Two more sets. I can see you getting confused too. Left turn right leg inhale. But just continue. Any movement is good. One more right turn. Left inhale. Exhale. Left turn right leg inhale. Exhale. Stay your legs there. Arms over the head. Inhale. Wind eliminating pose. So first you inhale, expanding your abdomen like a balloon. Hold your breath there, hug your right knee, left leg down, forehead to the knees. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one, exhale. Your eyes should be naturally closed when you hold your breath there. Again, inhale, hold your breath. In your belly, hug your left forehead to the left knee, right leg down for five, four, three, two, one, exhale. Let go. One more like this, inhale. Hold your breath in your abdomen, hug your right forehead to the knees. Five, four, three, two, one, exhale. Again, inhale. Hold and hug your left forehead to the knees. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one, exhale. Gonna do two more with both your knees. So stay to inhale first. Hold your breath, hug both your knees. Hug forward to the opposite elbows for eight. Forehead to the knees, create the compression, create the pressure, and exhale, release, starting point. One more time, inhale. Hold your breath, hug your knees, hold it tight for 10. Really forehead to the knees, compress, feel the pressure, and exhale, release. Relax your feet down, relax your arms alongside your body. We're going to be doing the Agni Sara here. I hope you haven't eaten dinner. It's going to be tough to do so. Now, I'm going to show you my belly. I'm quite a shy person. Watch the belly. You're going to inhale. As you exhale, you empty your lungs. At the end of exhalation, you suck your belly into the spine, into the ribs, holding your breath to your comfort, all my five counts. You're going to keep your arms there, but you're going to see my belly, so I'm going to keep it to the side. Observe here. Inhale. Exhale. slowly release your abdomen okay you can lift your t-shirt up if you want to I'm not there to watch you but I can see you from here or keep your t-shirt down with me all together inhale fully exhale fully empty your lungs first completely and then you hold your breath up suck your belly into the spine up to the ribs hold your breath for five four three two one, slowly you inhale, release your abdomen. I'm not going to be able to do it as I'm talking, so you got to do it, okay? Exhale fully. Empty your lungs completely. At the end of your exhalation, hold your breath up. Suck your belly into the spine, into the ribs for five. Hold your breath out. Four, three, two, one. Slowly you inhale. You shouldn't be gasping for air when you inhale there. Only hold to your comfort. Let's do three more. Exhale fully, empty your lungs completely, and then you suck into and up to the ribs for five. If you want further, pull the perineum into the spine, pull the navel too into the spine. Slowly you inhale. Last two chance. Exhale fully. At the end of that exhalation, suck it in and up towards the ribs, hold your breath for five. Keep pulling the navel and the perineum into and up with your spine. Slowly you inhale. One last. Exhale completely. <coughs> hold your breath out and hold it there for five. Keep pulling the navel into the spine, perineum up, pulling on the spine. Let's hold for another two. One, slowly you inhale. And then you normalize your breath. I'm sure you're feeling really, really good and I hope that puts a smile on your face and your digestive system. And the good bacteria is in there too because Agni Sara creates heat and heat is energy and it helps to improve your digestion. And I dare say a huge population of the world, not just in these Instagram watching now, have digestion issues and some carry it to all over along their lives. So keep breathing. As your next exit, we're going to lift your hips up, use a block, first setting or second setting your choice. Stay your hips there. 
if this is your best day because it's a gentle class, if you can raise your legs up. So keep your legs poker straight first, inhale, and as you next exhale, let your legs be apart. Naturally, knees bent and your palms can face upwards. Close your eyes, feet breath. Keep on relaxing. And as you relax, pay attention to how the circulation is improved from your feet. And it's going down along your legs, down to your pelvic, down your spine, to your chest, your lungs. So make sure you breathe and expel the toxins out from you. Your respiration. One breath there. As you exhale, you release your feet one at a time. One, two. Lift your hips higher to remove the blocks away completely. Buttocks down. Take one breath there. And exhale forward. We're going to do the fish pose. If you don't have any props, you can just support onto your forearms. As you normally do, otherwise with your head down to the floor, of course, otherwise use the blocks under the ribs. And you have a choice, you can have another block under your head, but do know that if you keep it like that, your throat is not open, so your thyroid glands not affected. If you want, keep your head up or back, so your thyroid glands affected. So all the feet together like this in butterfly, you're going to affect your lymph nodes in your groin and your arms slightly to your shoulder above level, affect your armpits, groin region. Close your eyes, feet breath. Completely learn to surrender and most immediately do so, but gently. Relax and soften your face, your shoulders, your arms your spine, your ribs, which means your lungs, your abdomen, your buttocks, your thighs. Take one more breath. As you exhale, you bend your knees, sit flat into the ground, arms side, cushion your forearms, lift your head up first, remove that block if you have any, or prop, and your ribs next. Then you lie down, stay here, bring your arms over the head as you inhale, now your feet as wide as the width of the mat. We're going to do a variation of a twisting position. You pay attention to the right knee, bring your right knee towards your left foot. And as that's done, you're going to stretch your arms over the head. You have a choice to keep your torso straight to the back of the room, or pull your right hand with your left hand, lean slightly towards your left. So you stretch along your right side of your torso, okay? Take one breath. So you want to improve circulation, the lymphatic system circulation. Back to the center of your arms, your head, right knee up, inhale. Other side, you exhale, and then you pull to the other side. Stay here for your breath. You will stretch along your left side this time. Make sure you lean towards the right if you wish to. And as you next exhale, torso back to the center, knees up, feet hip width apart, bring your legs up like a happy baby, but not holding onto your feet. Hug into the back of your thighs so that your knees are closer to the shoulders. That your thighs are on your abdomen. So you breathe and massaging your internal organs as well. You're ascending and descending for long. Toes pointing to what's your back of the room. Take one more breath. Inhale deeply. Hug your thighs deeper if you can. Stay like that. One bonus breath. Inhale. You've got bonus. Yes, we're doing this class. Exhale fully. Pull your navel under perineum if you can. Release your feet, hug your knees normally, normally as you would do. And as you exhale, roll forward, sit up. And that's not the end of it. We're going to do a quick chanting. I hope you have time. I'm really going to squeeze it in. And if you have a question, do ask at the end of the class. You have about two minutes, and I'll do my best to answer. Good questions, though. Don't ask what's Jeannie doing now. He's showing me how many minutes I've left. <laughs> Left you to the perennial, but we cut to the print. Now we're going to do a chant, the Om. The Om is made of three syllables or sound, A, O, and M. Mm. Now the sound Om exists in everything, the living thing, the non-living things, which means you can focus in any part of the body. But because we are focusing on immunity, I'd like us to focus A at the heart center, which would be the heart chakra as well as the thymus gland. The U at the throat center, throat chakra, or the thyroid gland. 
the mm at the pituitary gland, draw the two lines as you do that, because you don't have to just visualize the two lines. And then you will be guided. So have your palms facing upwards, shoulders back and down. Choose whichever hand gesture you're comfortable with. You must be relaxed, close your arms. No peeking. Keep breathing and pay attention to your heart center as you breathe. And allow your breathing to be very smooth. So inhale smoothly. And exhale full. As you chant at home, do chant as smoothly as you can and in harmonious tone, which means you don't have to yodel so loud. You just want the vibration in your heart center. For the sound R, we will focus the heart three times. All together, inhale. center feels now compared to right before you chant. Now your throat center as you exhale you will chant the sound of all three times together. Attention now to the center of the brain for the pituitary glands, draw the two lines for the sound of mm three times. Together, inhale. the sound om just three times and if you chant the sound om do pay attention to this last syllable as well the sound m mm, make it more than one second and do pay attention to the silence in between the ohms inhale
release two as you inhale. for a few moments. Now keeping your eyes still closed as quiet as you can so you maintain that state that you are in right now. Begin to lie down into the dead man's pose. Feel free to cover your eyes with a small towel. We're going to go through a quick yoga nidra. In the yoga nidra, we will be balancing the systems over the lens and the physical state internally. Pay attention to your breath. We're going to take three slow breaths. And as you exhale, you will exhale through the mouth with a sound, like the ocean breath. All together, inhale. Mouth. Inhale. Let you breathe and be very calm. You will notice you feel so quiet, so still. Keep on surrendering. Let your subconscious state listen to my voice and allow my voice to bring you into an equilibrium state. For when the body is healthy, it is in an equal, balanced state. So bring your attention now to your right foot and your right toes. Become aware of the state of your right foot and your right toes. Become aware the state of your left foot and your left toes as well now. Now notice these two sides of the right and your left feet and toes. You may notice that there are some imbalances. Begin to equalize and balance both your feet and your toes completely. Awareness now to your right ankle, the right calf, right shin. Now your left ankle, left calf, and left shin. Aware of these two parts. You may notice that there are imbalances between these two. Begin to equalize and balance both sides of your ankles, calves, and shins equally and completely. Now notice your right knee, right thigh, right buttock and hip, as well as attention to left knee, left thigh, left buttock, left hip. Awareness to this too. You may notice that there are some imbalances. Begin to equalize both sides of the knees, thighs, buttocks and hips completely. Now, the right side of your torso, from your hip to the shoulder. And the left side of your torso, from the hip to the shoulder. Become aware of both sides of your torso. Scan for any imbalances. And begin to equalize both sides completely. Moving on to your right shoulder, and tie your right arm palm and all the way to your fingers of your right arm. And then your left shoulder, 
left arm, left palm and left fingers. Begin to equalize both sides completely. Right side of the neck, right side of the skull, right side of the face. Left side of the neck, skull and the left face. Any imbalances? Begin to completely balance them out. Pay attention now to your sinus behind your nose and your cheek. Notice your right side and your left side of your sinus. Feel both sides of the sinus equally balanced, equally healthy and equally strong. And your thyroid center, aware of your right and your left. Feel both sides of your thyroid equally balanced, equally healthy and equally strong. Finally, your thymus gland of your right and your left. Feel both sides equally healthy, equally strong and happy. Stay in an equilibrium state just for a few moments now. Releasing, letting go. Those who wish to stay longer in Shavasana can maintain. Otherwise, begin to softly move your fingers and your toes. Bring your arms over the head, stretch your entire self, inhaling, exhaling, relax, and turn your torso to the side. Gently make yourself to sit up. Thank you very much. I hope you had a good practice. I understand that this will be on for 24 hours. Um, I appreciate all of you putting in effort and attending the class and doing your best and playing your part to keep yourself healthy and happy because we are all in this together and we all have a part to play. And if we're not part of the solution, we're part of the problem. So be the solution. Keep yourself healthy, happy, be responsible for ourselves, okay? And if you have any questions, you can write now quickly and I'll do my best to answer. Um, also, yes, um, come and join my Instagram. I've only got three followers. <laughs> I'm new to Instagram, but I'll be doing a lot of videos on breathing and things like that if you'd like to, as best as you can from my home. So do sign in if you want to. And we've got two minutes. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. I have no idea who's Map Girl again. I said that before, I say it again. <sighs> Thank you, everybody. And oh, tomorrow, don't forget, Aisha, 9 a.m., Ayanga with Banu. Make sure you join and make sure you do your practice. Be responsible, be healthy, keep healthy and happy. Oh, address comments and suggestions. I have to read this. If you have any questions, you can direct message me on my Instagram private. I've got only two minutes. Have I got two minutes? One minute. Uh, share the next class. I did that already. And follow Pure Yoga Singapore. Like it and like my Instagram. I have only three followers so far. <laughs> and I thank you so much, each and every one of you. Yes, rock me. Catherine, thank you again. Uh, I'm going to say this until I get cut off, okay? Matt Kitty Bone, thank you. Rosalita, thank you. Yole Yan Hansen, what? Wendy, 9 a.m. got to work. It's 24 hours. Hansen from Hong Kong, thank you. What's my Instagram? Aisha Aziz Sutton. <laughs> hard, hard. Oh, at 8 o'clock, do a clap for all those people, all the front line workers, the doctors, the nurses who brave their lives and risk their lives for all of us. Clap out the window, shout. And this is for all of you. Thank you so much. Hey, Michael and Imani, I hope you're doing and not cheating. And Slim CG and Diva 8 Viva, Sri Vidya 7478. Love all of you. Rian from Hong Kong. I've got one minute. I'm not sure. So good luck. Goodbye. <laughs>